Hello, I'm Dr. Ali. I'd like to welcome you back. We know that when you improve your health, you improve the quality of your life. And our goal for you is to bring you the knowledge and resources that you need to empower yourself, your family, and your community. If you're joining us for the first time, we welcome you. Make sure that you subscribe so you can make informed changes to improve your mind and body. We periodically bring you new research that gets published and has implications for our health. Today's video is about one such new study that was published. This research basically showed a relationship between dairy intake and the risk of heart disease. So let's get started. Now, there has been a lot of debate about the role of dairy products in causing inflammation and inflammation-related conditions like heart disease. Now, milk and dairy products containing milk fat are also a very important source of saturated fatty acids. And these saturated fatty acids have been implicated to cause inflammation. In addition, there's also been concern about the cows that produce these milk being exposed to antibiotics and hormones and possibly a connection between that and inflammation. Another reason why there is a connection uh, between dairy products and inflammation is the kind of food that is fed to these animals. So there are many reasons why dairy and inflammation can be connected. Examples of dairy products include milk, cheese, butter, etc. There are also some hidden sources of dairy that we don't know about, and we will talk about that later. In the United States, we know that heart disease is the number one killer. There is one heart attack every 40 seconds. 805,000 people in the United States have a heart attack every year, according to the Center for Disease Control. We also know that there are a number of modifiable risk factors which, if taken into consideration, can considerably reduce our risk of heart disease. The risk factors which predispose us to heart disease include our diet, smoking, sedentary lifestyle, high blood pressure, high bad cholesterol or LDL, and diabetes. The study that we will talk about today was published on 22nd September of this year in the European Journal of Preventive Cardiology. The primary question that the study was trying to answer was whether there was any connection between dairy consumption and heart attack, stroke, and or early death. The study included 1929 patients. 80% of them were men. The mean age of these patients was 62 years. All of these patients had a history of heart disease. They had stable angina or chest pain. They basically tried and got those patients to complete a dietary data questionnaire in which these patients listed the type of food that they were eating and the frequency with which they were eating those foods. These patients were followed up after 5.2 years 7.8 years and 14.1 years. And the primary goal of the researchers was to see how many of these patients had stroke, 
had another heart attack. And they also wanted to know which one of these patients died early and if there was any connection between any of these outcomes and the consumption of dairy products. What they found was that overall higher dairy intake had a direct connection, rather increased risk of death increased risk of heart disease and increased risk of stroke. They also found that butter was associated with increased risk of heart attack. Here is the graph which looks at how high can be the risk of heart disease in patients who consume milk and butter. So what we are going to conclude from this data is that it is important to understand that there is a connection between dairy and heart disease, stroke, and early death, likely possibility that the relationship is due to inflammation since all of these conditions are a result of high inflammation. The best thing would be to go with dairy substitutes such as almond milk, coconut milk. It is also important to make sure that we are aware of the hidden sources of dairy. Examples of hidden sources of dairy are hand tuna fish, chewing gum, deli meat, dips and salad dressings, hot dogs, and instant mashed potatoes. It is critically important that we look at the ingredients and we read the ingredients very well. Casein is also part of dairy. So if you see a product which has any kind of caseinates like ammonia, calcium, magnesium, potassium, or sodium caseinate, then we know that it actually contains dairy. Diet plays a very important role in causing heart disease, stroke, and early death. It is very important that we try and minimize our dairy consumption to reduce the risk of these conditions. Hopefully we'll connect next time to bring you more such important research studies.